Pension funds at the moment usually are presently either doing it themselves, yeah, insurances and pension funds, or they'll go with special funds on the KG platforms or KVG platforms, um, or do it themselves. But they, they have a very broad uh, base of who they work with, and they'll, they'll do it with the open-ended fund providers, but in a special fund structure with them or three other players of their, of their couleur and their liking, or they'll simply give it to guys like Quantum and, and uh, or you know, core state, or whoever, whatever profile they would like to have satisfied, and that ticks their boxes. Uh, but they're extremely active players, of course, at the moment. Um, but they also have a certain return profile. They need to satisfy, you know, outgoing four percent, so they need a certain uh, return on, on on their money to be able to satisfy that long term. Yeah, but but I also think they they are looking at uh, from the risk side. They are quite risk averse, and that's that's a little bit of. Mm. Give, giving problems for them to, to really reinvest the money in Germany because they simply want to have the minimum return given the, 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 uh, the liabilities they have. At the same time, they want the, risk, the low risk level and that's simply less and less matching in Germany. But the most of the big deals done last year, you look at Hofstadt, you look at uh, Kuh Galerie, the big mm. retail office uh, location downtown, they're all bought by insurance companies or, or uh, pension funds or... Versorgungswerke, which is um, similar to the pension funds only for private sectors.